petition, the briefing um, to be held at State House right here in Nairobi. Right. Now, the privatization authority has reviewed its strategic plan 2023 to 2028, enabling it to advise the government on privatization matters to facilitate the implementation of government policies on privatization. Now, speaking during the launch of the five-year plan in Nairobi, Principal Secretary of the National Treasury, Chris Kipto, noted that privatization will facilitate the reduction of demand for government uh, resources from privatized entities, ensuring optimal allocation of resources. The government of Kenya has put in investments which we are approximating from the returns that we have from all our state corporations to about 3.4 trillion Kenya shillings in terms of the asset base. And from those investments, we hardly get 0.1% of a return. When you privatize organizations, you can see from practical examples, yeah, when Safaricom was privatized, it was a department under Telcom Kenya. Look at how the matter is doing today that was left to government. We want to minimize the fiscal risks and pressure to the exchequer. We still have very many entities relying on the exchequer to support their activities. Majority of them are running commercial activities, which they should be able to make enough money to survive on their own and be off exchequer. So we really want to make sure a number of entities are out, are out of exchequer. So the reform measures that we have come up with, we have what, something called the ownership policy. We are doing viability assessment and we are doing financial evaluation of the institutions. In the ownership policy, we are looking at the key governance reform framework which was approved by cabinet uh, last year in 2023. And in this, we have designed, uh, we said for commercial corporations, uh, we have now drafted a bill which we call Government uh, on Enterprises uh, Ownership Bill 2024. This bill is the legal framework that is designed to give effect to the provisions of the ownership policy. Now, in an effort to increase investments within the agriculture sector in Kenya, um, 